Hey, good morning everybody. So it is barely 70 degrees and I haven't been out in the garden for quite a while now. So today's the day. I'm gonna be checking on those cucumbers and those beautiful sunflowers that I went ahead and let two plants go. So we'll see what's going on in the garden. There's no sign of any change in bed one except for the trees that I need to nip out of there. bed two here is still producing a lot of the cherry tomatoes and looky there it's been about a month since I planted the cucumbers and I got two of them almost hitting the trellis but I look at that big third one it has reached the trellis I can't wait for it to start climbing John did a big harvest of tomatoes yesterday and we're gonna have several more it looks like I still have some peppermint and it's really odd that's the only thing that's really grown on the peppermint is in front of bed two. I used to have it in front of every bed. Kind of weird. I'm still looking around bed two. Wow, that was beautiful. And by the other side, just take a really good look at my marigold. They're so pretty. <laughs> They're really cool. That side of the comfrey cut down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that all chopped down pretty much. And I'll come back out here in a week or so and show you what it looks like. My cucumber is doing very well. Got itself attached to the trellis, so that's awesome. Okay, and there's that one sunflower that I left, and it's actually coming out of bed four. It's got itself winged around over there. So pretty soon, I'm going to have John chop it down because I don't want all those um, sunflower seeds everywhere. My rosella has gotten really big. I hadn't seen any buds or flowers yet though. Here's one sunflower that I was going to let grow, but I think it's hanging over too much. So I'm going to go ahead and chop what I can down. That's my little garden tour. There, and noticed all this damage from the grasshoppers. So they're eating my elderberry. Mm -hmm. 